game that I do believe that Onyx still need to respect. And I'm not really sure about this Keyboy Angela. Mm. It seems kind of iffy indeed. But it seems like... Wow, huh? Very tough, very tough to pull off. Tough to pull off. Let's see if it will succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Land of Dawn for game number two between the three-faced mask and the yellow porcupine. Alter Ego severely need to force this game at number three. So all of the pressure is on Sally Boy. All the pressure is on Udil, Rossi. Just Pai as well as Nino, they need to step up. They need to find a loophole. And that loophole is severely difficult to find. That farming speed is very, very visible in the early stage. Retribution used up by Sally Boy there because Sans invaded in. And this lethal might actually go to Onik because of that. Oh, it doesn't. Nope, nope, nope. Sully Boy will claim it, but it seems like, yeah. I expect Alter Ego, they might punch the early game here with the monsters, but oh, good pull by Sans. Dealing damage, it seems like Udo calmly retreat. Mm -hmm. Looking at the pull yourself together emblem here for the Kadita, usually for pull yourself together, we see that you need to utilize that Petri a bit more. In this game, it's another uh, very good choice for Udo. Up against CW, who is going to purify with that second skill, that petrify away, you need to have that up more so that you can try to punish these other members too, especially with Sans going for purify, gives you even more value for pull yourself together, getting those cooldowns for your battle spell. Oh, top side, Kyrene will hold the Tempest of Blade here. It seems like Onyx will not commit and pull the trigger for a fight just yet. First one will be up, and it seems like rotation wise, it's even. I think Onik has a slight edge, but then again, the Marks is there already poking the turtle. And it's great, right? Because in game number one, we did see a quite distinction in the EXP between Sally Boy and Kyrie. But here it is, a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And oh. the setup, way better here for Alter Ego. They were quick to it. Onik understood it, and they didn't want to commit. It looks like perhaps they are still waiting for what exactly? Why did they not contest the first turtle? Hard guard for Kyrie. They were waiting for Kyrie. They were waiting for Kyrie to get the item power spike. I, I think even if the hard guard was there, it would have been too risky for Onik to fight for the turtle, knowing that Alter Ego had better mid control with the Kadita and the Navaria constantly pushing in. Better retri, uh, well, better retri capabilities with the Martis anti CC. And also, the Arlet, winning in the lane against a very passive Fredrin. So what Onik is doing now is they've secured independent picks to what? To give Kyrie space. And that's why they didn't take it. They need Kyrie to get those power spikes through farming first. And he was first to hit level 6 anyway. And Sally Boy was able to get that turtle. So you can imagine how fast Onik Kyrie is farming in particular, but here it is, an invade into the bottom side. Oh, the hard guard popped as well. Now CW will try to clear the lane, and it seems like the Kadita in the backside quite, quite stuck there, but he is able to escape from that sticky situation. He was trying to bank on the fact that he could find a burst onto CW perhaps. He realized that he was caught in a precarious position, and so he was forced to use that ultimate just to escape, and that are two, that is two resources already wasted out here, and Onik don't really need to think about it for the next few seconds. It's all chill for Onik right now, Pai. Overstanding, oh. but it's respect given over to Kyrie. You can see Selibu and Rossi rotate over. See here already purple, well, orange buff is in contention. Pai, quite low. Pulled back as well. Oh, oh good wow. Take a look at the damage that Prince has wrapped. The synergy. Sans will grab the first blood. But it seems like the orange buff here will not be taken wow. by. Oh, Sans gets it. Selly Boy has him uh, retribution be opted to not press it. Because Turtle was up. Yeah. But man, that was a big L for Ultra Ego. Kyrie just gave it away, he didn't even care. He went for the gold plating and look, he took everything out almost from the turret goal. Onik even Oh my god. Onik and their macro distractions and punishments. Jeez. It's <laughs> causing issues now for Alter Ego. 
The fact that they didn't get anything in return, and it looks like Celebre wants to force something once again. Oh, CW now free hitting in that front area. Crossbow tank can be popped, but Sans will grab the first split kill. Crossbow tank pops here as Pi will flicker away. Boots though with a taunt and knock up will take Pi down. CW to secure the kill. Take a look at Nino. This is very, very dangerous. As still he has a flicker, he will flicker away. Will they have enough range here as Nino will be hunted down to the blade to secure the kill. <laughs> Boots, though, will actually grab the kill. So that was a purple buff for two members. Three members, actually, including Nino for Alter Ego. Worth it or not? No, not worth it. Usually, maybe it'd be worth it if you sacrifice your roamer to steal the enemy purple buff, especially if it's a Linger Fanny, but yeah, no. Kyrie got two assists, got so much more space, and now we'll go back to the orange buff. I like what Sully Boy is doing though, now constantly just pressuring into enemy jungle. Unfortunately, he's not able to pressure Kyrie with the team together. They're pressuring the buffs, but then they will leave the lane. They pressure the lane, and then they will leave the buff. So ultimately, Onik, Boots, Sans, Keyboy, and CW are all facilitating Kyrie. Look at that, giving the whole lane farm up top to Kyrie. Yikes, yikes. That was a good purify though by Sans in the mid lane. Popped it just in time, but yeah. Two and a half thousand gold lead here practically. Six minutes in is not a good sign. Truly isn't. And you can see here that Ling, Kyrie, going to recall, trying to get that purple buff. He didn't have enough energy to go in for a pick for Pi, and Pi knew exactly that. So he goes in for a 2v1 situation by in the top side there, going for a cut. Is he going to win it? Seems like he can sustain. Oh, crossbow a tang though. Will secure the kill. Pi. Got a little bit overzealous, but oh, on the other side, Kyrie gets taken down. Nino will be the trade as Rossi and Keyboy here. Rossi, an ex on a player, will meet his fellow teammate. What, season six now? Silly Boy will have the clearance to secure the turtle, he will quite low though. Polo Vulture popped as well, as he will try to sustain three Onic members, but Boots will secure the kill. 2,000 gold lead though, Alter Ego, fine compensation. This is just so depressing if you're Alter Ego, they're making the right moves, getting turtles here and there, but it's always traded by Onic. This frustration will build. And here, even Pi, he goes in for Keyboy, but I think even he knows it won't be a kill. Keyboy knows too, he just recalls in his face, goes for the Alter Ego emote. And yeah, remember when you said the crossbow tank won't really be a threat until he hits that item power spike? Seventh minute, he's going to hit this item power spike in the eighth minute. That Wind Talker is almost fully built up and look at Kyrie. Two turtles to Alter Ego, invades. Etc. But Kyrie is still a thousand and three hundred gold ahead through the minion waves. And Boots, the guy who has been giving his lane to Kyrie, is equal to Pi. How does this happen? I'm, I'm just baffled here. And it looks like Alter Ego still though they are active on the map. They're still looking for something here. They're still looking for scraps. And of course, Kyrie. Do you think he can be baited here? Udil's there. Seems like they will not be wow. triggered. Good read! Jeez. Good at Game Sense. Final Slash whiffs it as well. Hardcore though has been committed. It seems like Honic, they will not commit to a fight. That's a wasted hard guard. But what the heck was that? Game Sense. Reaction that was time. One ultimate wasted compared to Udil using his ultimate and a spell in no. return. And this is Keyboy on the Angela, who also already has the fleeting time. So all in all, it's not that much of a waste, honestly, at this point. No, not at all. And I think the, the hard guard was, I think, a bit unnecessary, right? Because he actually dodged it away from it. Just goes to show you that Keyboy is also very, very aware. He knows that he can help his jungler instantly, and he always has that ready. That was just phenomenal, though. That reaction time and Udo. I don't know what he's thinking now, but no Petrify for this fight. 10 seconds. Oh, Sally Boy though, soaking damage, already had a half HP. Alter Pots, Maneuver is passing to the backside, but it will not help Sally Boy. As Grasbauer Tang almost takes Udil down as well. And now, Alter Ego, full defense, mid turret seems to be the target. It seems like Onik, they're taking it slow this time, considering that they have the Lord. 
I literally was not paying attention to the entire fight. No, because you don't know where to look. It's always the Onyx game, man. You look at Boots, and then Kyrie gets the Lord. You look at Kyrie, Boots gets something else on the map. And now they are invading Amartis. Amartis that has... A Oh, Nino Tove on. Oh, good finish, boys. Oh, this time, though, Tempest of Blade will save his life. Udiel now taken out by Keyboy. Taking a good pie. Soaking damage, but Kyrie will try to put and punch Pi to take him down. But it seems like, no, it's just Udiel the casualty. Lord, still, ha still 100%. It seems like Alter Ego, they, are, they still need to defend this. What do you do, right? Because Udiel... Was that not the right decision to make? It and the was. fact that Kyrie was still able to Tempest a Blade out of it? That's so frustrating right now. That's what I said, man. It's just a build of frustration. Onik are playing this game perfectly. They're playing perfect Mobile Legends. With this roster, they've been playing perfect Mobile Legends since last season. MSC even against the international teams. And it almost just seems like this lineup is a mystical, mythical lineup that you only hear in stories. Every time you see it, it's unbelievable. It's out of this world. Oh, Pi now isolated, and he will definitely be caught here. Well, take a look at the reinforcement though, but Pi at the end of the day will fall. Boots, so King Damage knocked up. Oh, good catch, good taunt as Beatrix now. Nino, very low in the backside though. Kyrie finally caught. Selly boy, will he be survive? Will he survive? Answer is yes, as Wan Wan will claim the base turret. Udil now will not be able to escape as Sans claims a double. It's going to be a 1 4 3 now. CW still confident enough to go at it. Udil tried his best, man. Udil was able to do his job. He traded his life for Kyrie. But in the grand scheme of things, it only gave Alter Ego maybe a few seconds of time. As look at this, Onik going very aggressively once again. Silly boy. Oh my god. As a Martis, forced to retreat because of that damage coming through. I'm wondering how far Sans has built this because I swear that damage is insane. And he is sitting at a 505 KDA. I'm sure those items are stacked. They are. They are stacked. And that's an endless battle for Kyrie. And this is the thing. When you're ahead on a 1-1, one -one, what counterplay do you have against this? Like, you can't even reach this. You can't even reach the 1-1. One -one. You try to catch him, second skill purify. You try to dive him, inspire, weakness points, fly. Or even better, just walk away, dash away from these basic attacks. There are no answers to what Onik are doing to Alter Ego right now. The questions that Onik are posing to Alter Ego, what are you going to do? Alter Ego, they only have one answer. We'll take it. You know, if it were up to me, i just go like, okay, team, we see CW and one one. That's three Ws. Let's all go purify. That's Che Wei Wei. Wait, <laughs> Che Wei Wei Wei. The Calvin Winata win-win. One, one. One, one. Triple W. Triple C, triple W. Let's take a look at his items. What? CW is so disciplined, man. Just be a bit more of a, like, um, come on, man. Just be a greedy. What the heck? He is 2,000 gold ahead, and he still has a of nature. He's like the opposite of Nino in game number one. And if you know, take a look at the bot side, though. Good engage, but it seems like with the help of hard guard, Harry is able to survive. Tempest of Blade. Ooh, close to comfort. But Alter Ego, they are still holding on. Lord, top side. So Rossi is doing a lot of damage though, right? So even if they are going for a siege here, Onik does still need to respect that output. With Nino as well, that's a lot of range to play with. They should have been able to secure this quickly if Onik don't look for a moment. Okay. Lord, taken out, managed by Alter Ego. What they need to do now is shift their focus and clear the big waves. See, mid base turret now, still standing, still defended. It seems like, oh, good final flash flicker. Whole altar popped here as Kyrie jumps into the fray, finds his target. Ty Pi will be taken down. CW now, with the help of hard guard here, will try to find an opening. But it seems like, no, he has no opening just yet. Base turret, bottom side will be taken out. Oh, good, good knockup. But it seems like good response by CW. That's a one for all. They don't have CC though, Mirko. How are Onyx supposed to dive into this comp? They'll just dive through damage. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> exactly. Selly Boy now half HP. Trying to survive, trying to escape. But it seems like Kyrie and CW will say no. 
Onyx maintaining pressure. CW looking for the right timing to really commit. But it seems like Pi and friends, they have managed to recalibrate. To answer your question, Onyx can do whatever they want. They can see, they can team fight. And the thing is, Alter Ego, sure, you would say Onyx don't really have a composition. They can zone these members away from the turrets. And Alter Ego have a Kadena, they have a Novaria, they have a Beatrix. These heroes should do good in these wave clears. And yes, they do good in the wave clear department, but once they use their skill rotations, one Bennett's Rage is all you're going to get for one Siege. And then Onyx just goes again. And then you think, all right, there you go. That's a second push. They got our base turret. Fine, we'll take it. They come again, and they take the third one. They take the everything, and now wait, Boots gets engaged on. Oh, they're going all into Boots, and Boots will be taken out. Onyx, they have zero time to respond. This is prime time Alter Ego to somehow, some way, contest this next Lord that will spawn in three. Three seconds for the Lord. Boots spawning in, that's a man advantage, but Kyrie. Alter Ego, they don't have any resources here. Alter Ego needs to be very careful with housekeeping now. With three inhibitor turrets taken down, Kairi is notoriously known to look for that split push. Let's see, it seems like they want to go in. CW hasn't popped it with crossbow tank just yet. Tempest of Blade though will be popped. It seems like Alter Ego, very low. But yeah, it's just a bluff on it. They munch Selly Boy to a low HP and collect the Lord. Sans just ate that Astral Sphere and a Renner's Apathy. He took it to the face. Um. Nom, nom, nom. And he walks away. Onik again with these forced errors. They go for a fight. They, they faint a fight. And then Alter Ego used their resources to back away, to disengage. That's a rough wave. That's a, a lot of these resources used. And then Onik saying, nah, we were just joking. We we're going to go for the Lord anyways, you know? <laughs> we're just trying to get Psych. you to a position where we have the advantage. And now it's another Siege. Let's see how they do it. Because again, Venice Rage. There you go. You're not going to see that in this team fight again, and Onik knows it. They will push three waves at once and look for a team fight to end it all. Take a look at Udil though here, waiting for the right opening. Sally Boy, half HP, all good petrify the backside as Ski Boy will be taken out. No hard guard in the comp. Take a look at Kyrie, finds a revenge. It's a one for one, a mid lane for Jerome. But take a look at CW now. Dealing, dishing damage, oh, oh. quite low now. Seems like Onik, they can't pull the trigger. Boots? will wow. be covered by that cult of altar. It's funny because we saw as Keyboy was going to be taken down by Udil, he knew exactly that Udil, that was, Udil there. was there. Wow. But yet, Udil was still able to get that the perfect combo. combination in, that perfect timing in, and Keyboy was just like, well, maybe right. maybe next time. Um, yeah. Maybe he'll be the, build, build a... I don't know what he's building right now. It does look like it's a Holy Crystal. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if Keyboy actually wants to go for the Holy Crystal or this, or, or if this ooh. is like a Winter Truncheon, right? Maybe just one for, you know, maybe Holy Crystal later, or Divine Glaive, maybe Winter Truncheon and Divine Glaive. But yeah, an interesting build for sure. 6,600 gold lead in between the junglers alone. Oh, my Lord. Wh wow. That is absurd. No boots for Kyrie. He doesn't need boots when he's flying and jumping through or on walls, right? Right. He's already mobile enough with the purple buff. And look at this. Aww. Look at this. So what Kyrie's doing is he Very knows smart. he has that purple buff already, right? He wants to use the full duration of this purple buff. And then he will go to the enemy purple buff too and probably take it or maybe he'll give it to Sans. They're using everything to the to the maximum, man. They're using everything so efficiently. Okay. Novaria with the ult will provide vision. Zelly Boy, though, will already be at half HP. Purple will be taken by Nino still. And it seems like Onik now very taking their time. 20 minutes in. And I feel like from, what, minute five? Onik has the lead. So it's just a matter of Onik still wasn't it. Uh, aren't able to just end the game. Yeah, not yet. Like I mentioned, I think high ground has been an issue. That range, that poke, that Alter Ego have. Onyx understand that they do have a gold lead and they're going a very 
offensively in their item builds, but now they're starting to feel the poke coming in from Alter Ego, that magic poke, right? Rossi, in combination with Nino's damage as well, those snipes, they hurt. And CW, time and time again, unable to get that crossbow of Tang because he gets bursted down even before he's able to go for it. Good pressure there. Kyrie forced to recall. If Alter Ego is bold here, they might commit a fight, but it seems like not in time. Good Lord control by Boots as well. For sure, and that's why the Fedra is so prior, right? Even here, uh, not a jungle this time. It's an XP lane for Onik, but you can still hold on to the Lord very easily, and it's kind of baiting Alter Ego into this position, but Onik needs to be careful. Alter Ego have hit the power spikes. Yeah, Boots now. In front, final slash pop, call alter as well as Kyrie jumps in just to secure the kill. Now retribution battle, Terry Boy will is down. Crossbow oh. Tang will be delivered as well as it will be a one, two, three punch knockout. Four even as Kyrie finds the unstoppable. And with this in mind, Pi will oh. be just delayed for the recalls as the mid will be the target. A mysterious Hi. man. The mysterious man and Calvin Winata, not even Keyboy, will secure that kill. And it's a wiped out as Onik takes game two in a clean sweep. Onik continue their legacy with their MSC lineup. Once again, just bruising through all these.